Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your weekly astrology this week. Oh, I have to tell you, it's it's a challenging week. I'm not going to lie. We have Mercury going retrograde. We also have a new moon, which is tangling with Pluto. Also, Mars and Saturn are involved. So we are being challenged. However, the new moon is in harmonious Libra. So there is potential to glide through it as long as we don't engage in battle. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey, gorgeous Cancer, how are you, my sensitive divine beings? Welcome to Weekly Astrology. This week is pretty intense, as you know, and of course, new moons affect you more than any other sign. But let's start at the beginning where we have Mercury retrograde. Oh no, I hear you cry. But guess what? There are some positives, believe it or not, with Mercury retrograde, and that is the past is full of treasure that we can reclaim with Mercury Retrograde. And for you, it's about your creativity, it's about soul connections, although hmm, not necessarily, would, wouldn't necessarily call an ex myself um, at that time, but an ex may be calling you. But also, you may have had a creative vision in the past, something that made you really happy and you decide to bring it back into your life in this time. So I would definitely do that. Um, in terms of your creativity now, currently, and in terms of any relationships you may be in now, particularly fledgling relationships, there may be misunderstandings, there may be schnaffers, uh, there may be, what is schnaffers? It means, you know, when things are a little bit in limbo, you're, you're planning to do something and, it, you know, it, there's chaos attached to it, doesn't quite happen as you would want. So ignoring the schnaffers, there are positives. Look to the past for your creative inspiration. Don't misconstrue any information you have. Make sure you leave the house on time, particularly if you're going on a date or if you are having a meeting. Uh, maybe don't leave the house, turn the Zoom on, but make sure whatever you're doing that you get there on time. Now with the sun opposing a retrograde Mars, there may be some talk about home and family. I would say, um, and, and also your career, and some kind of extreme view being talked about around those things. And you, you're feeling super confident, that's great. But for instance, if you're thinking of moving or changing jobs, I wouldn't necessarily do it when Mercury is retrograde. Now back to the main news, the new super moon in Libra squaring Pluto, uh, tussling, it has various tussles with Saturn and Mars. It's, you know, it's intense, baby. It's, it's going to feel pretty full on emotionally for all of us. In the external world, I am imagining some massive drama is going to occur. Uh, so personally, it may be connected to your home and your relationships, your one-to-one -one relationships. Uh, you're feeling pressure. You may be feeling someone's pressurizing you. You may be trying to pressurize someone else to move in or move out or whatever it is. It's this big, intense whirlwind of energy before a breakthrough. And when that breakthrough comes, you can ditch the negative energy and it's a new cycle for you, particularly around your home and family. So it will be okay. It will pass. It's just that uh, horrible bit at the end where you have to deal with something. And of course, with Mercury retrograde, maybe everything isn't clear. Just be in your power. Just love yourself through it. Just be calm and, and just know that this is going to lead to a brand new start for you. Let's see what the tarot has to say, my darling. Cancer, 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 cancer. Okay, yeah, there's an opportunity coming to you. You're reflecting on your whole world at the moment. What is my world and, and, and how can I make my world safe and, and what journeys do I want to go on and how do I want to transform things? I always see this card different to other people and you know what? I'm the one putting the card for you, so it, for me, I mean, obviously always interpret it the way you would, but for me, it's sometimes an offer that comes forward and we don't see it for what it is. We may be quite dismissive of the offer or opportunity or even idea we have, but fundamentally, it might be, might be something used. It might, it, you, huge. It's a whole wide world that we're not seeing because for whatever reason, and then it, it, it all becomes the wish card again. Do you know what? Nearly every week I'm putting the wish card for one sign or another, and it's your lucky day. You got the wish card, baby. So definitely look out for ideas. The wish card. What is the wish card? Something you want is coming your way. Something you've desired in the past or in the present 
is coming. Someone's offering you something great. And then you've got the star. I'm not that worried about you now. You've got creativity, right? Which is creativity is, is woven in your week, as I said already. This is creativity. This is healing. This is a time of peace and tranquility and calm and inspiration and hope. I think we'll stop there, don't you? Anyway, I send you so much love. Come and visit me on Instagram, Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L. And also, if you want your written horoscopes, horoscope.co.uk. And if you want loads of free and interactive tarot, uh, well, hundreds of them, michellenight.com, Michelle with one L. So much love. Take care. Michellenight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight. So I knew all of the, the psychics and they'd read for me. It's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show and Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for, it's a unique family and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got a job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight was, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two or three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings and this beautiful distinctive voice it's Michelle Knight here I'm ringing you for my test reading is on the other end of the line is scary she, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations you get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball the flexibility we get as readers as well it's just great I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michellenight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.